Hello everyone, here's another houseplant tutorial. This is somehow time consuming if you will cut them manually. It took me an hour cutting them while monitoring my son's homework, but it was fun. Don't forget to check the description box for the pattern link and the materials. So here's how the leaves look like and they come in different sizes and different color pattern. Don't forget to spray it with transparent sealer and paint the back green before cutting them. And here's how they look like after I cut them. You can set them aside first. To make the stem and vine, I used a green crochet thread. However, the color is too light to match the leaves. So, I painted it with green acrylic paint, which is also a good idea to stiffen the thread. Just make sure to paint all sides of the thread and then hang and let them dry. Once the paint is dry, glue the leaf at the end of the thread. Cut the excess thread and make as many as you can. So here are the leaves ready to be glued to the moss pole. Next, curl each leaves using a cocktail stick so they will look more lively and not stiff when you arrange them in the moss pole. For the moss pole, I am using this um, chenille stem, which you can find in the craft store. They come in different colors, but I used up all the brown colors, so I painted the white chenille to make the brown moss pole. I am also using this cute ready-made ceramic plant pot that I purchased online. I am going to add a styrofoam in the pot and glue the chenille stem in the foam like this or more in the middle. Next, I am going to use the same painted thread to make the uh, vine and I am simply gonna wrap and glue this around the moss ball like so. Then, I am going to wrap another green thread going to the opposite direction. Next, glue the leaves to the vine and make sure that the prints are facing upward. You can also glue the leaves directly to the moss pole to make it look full. They should look something like this. By the way, I used my actual plant as a reference to this project. So just keep on adding the leaves until you are satisfied with how it looks like. Again, I added pebbles to cover the styrofoam like, just like my other plant um, projects. That's it, another easy plant tutorial to add to your collection. Thank you for watching this video and have fun with your new project. Bye bye and see you next time!